Fireworks were the order of the day as revelers ushered in the new year in style at the resort city of Mombasa, where beach hotels tried to outdo each other in their bid to endear themselves to the revelers. The hotels had prepared and paraded long buffets for their guests to sample from, just like they were different delicacies to enjoy. The Jomo Kenyatta Public Beach has been the preferred destination for many, swimming their hearts to counter the soaring temperatures that have been synonymous with the coastal region. The industry players described 2016 as their best year, but they are looking forward to a prosperous 2017 nevertheless. 2016 has been exceptional. Uh, I have to be frank, it has been a, it has been a fantastic year. I can firmly say that Mombasa is back. Uh, coast is back and, 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 and I'm sure there is of course more to do but I am expecting uh, fireworks in 2017. Amid the celebrations that continued for the better part of the night, a few kilometers away from the outskirts of Mombasa city, Mazeras residents were also having joyous moments with the popular coastal Mnazi brew being their preferred drink. And here, they lamented over the hard economic times they had to withstand last year. Changamoto za maisha ziko, lakini wakati wa shere kama wakati kama huu, tunaika masaibu yetu kando na watu wanarusha roo kiasi. Tourism stakeholders taking the opportunity to loud the decision by the government to market Kenya locally. A local tourists this year and also last year, they have actually boosted our tourism in Kenya and especially at the costs. Right now, I would say that we have 50-50 locals and uh, international uh, tourists, and that is a big plus. A lot of our guests who have actually checked in this season have already booked for next year, December. So as we are talking, we are already talking about 40% uh, occupancies for next year, December gone. And that's where we are standing. They said if the trend continues, then the sector is set to realize monumental growth and retain its former glory as the world's preferred tourist destination globally. Kenya has everything under one roof. So why should anyone think about going to any other country if, if it's not Kenya? And um, I think it's, it's more about uh, team spirit. It's more about being positive. It's more about uh, looking, forward to, uh, looking forward to a brighter future. And that way we will all succeed to be winners. And with the standard gauge railway expected to be operational in June this year, they are already beaming with optimism that the sector can only get better. Those who make the final decisions, uh, especially closer to the, to the festive season, you find that even some, the bus companies, some of them are fully booked. You can't even get a chance to travel to come to the coast. But with the SGR, I think uh, it will be now. Uh, very good for each and everyone who would like to travel to come and uh, experience the weather and uh, the beaches at, the Mombasa, at Mombasa. The only major concern though is the general elections that is slated for August 8th this year. Uh, as we go now to 2017, uh, I would like to urge our leaders in uh, both the opposition and the government that uh, we need uh, a peaceful election we need a Kenya which tomorrow we can be proud of. So please, I will ask them to turn their politics. Sentiments shared by a section of local leaders in the region. I am uh, deeply disturbed by the politics of division that some politicians are using. The politics of tribal uh, division, the politics of this is a coastal, this is a upcountry person, this is a Muslim, this is a Christian. These are exactly the type of politics that have destroyed many countries in our neighborhood. 2016 has been a great year for the tourism sector in the coast region. Stakeholders are optimistic of a full recovery in 2017. We at KBC wish you a prosperous new year. Reporting from Mombasa County, I am Anburu.